Crystal here. I wanted to make you another video on Excel and basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how you can check your stock investments in Excel and this is with the, the new version of Excel. I've got the latest version of Excel because I pay for it. So, uh, but basically I think what you do is you come over here to data or is it formulas? No, it's data. Okay, and then so basically they've got a stock icon right here and in the stock icon right here you can check your stocks. And so I've got some stocks that I've checked already. I've checked Apple. Apple had a high of 237.23 and a low of 224.13. Had a market capitalization of, let me see, thousand, no, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions. Market capitalization of 3.5 trillion and then a PE of 34.22. A PE ratio is the st equals the stock price over the earnings per share and a, t it, a ratio of 10 to 20 is acceptable. If the ratio is under 10, it indicates the stock is a bargain and if it's over 20, it indicates the stock is expensive. An average P.E. ratio is around 20 to 25. And you can see that the uh, stocks that I've selected, P.E. ratio of 34.22 and 35.3, that indicates that the stock is expensive. I, I did Alphabet, so, so I checked Alphabet. So you come over here to this little box where it says insert data. And so we click on the high and we've got high. Click on to low. We've got low. Click on to market capitalization or they call it market cap. And then click on to PE ratio. But you can see whenever I click on the things, you can see there's lots of uh, lots of things that you can look at with this stock. And um, so that's good. If you're interested in stocks, that's good. There's lots of things that you can look at in stocks. And I'm going to try to think of a, a company that, um, let's try Samsung, because Samsung, I've got a Samsung phone. So we'll try Samsung. And then, so, come over here to the data selector. Come over here on stocks. It says no Samsung. How can it be no Samsung? So let's try let's try another one. Lenovo. L E N O V O. And Lenovo come up. Lenovo Group Limited. And so we'll just do it again just to give you some exercise practice. Check the high. Check the low. Check the market capitalization. And check the PE ratio. And there you go. And as you said, I, that's just what I selected. You can select all of the all of the little items in the drop drop down window if you want to. But Lenovo has a high of one thirty two euros, a low of one twenty seven euros, and it gives you a market capitalization of 
hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. It's still got $134 billion. And it's got a P.E. ratio of 15.50, which falls between 10 and 20, which is acceptable. And you can check all different kinds of companies you want to. Um, and you can check more uh, variables than what I checked. But I just wanted to be able to keep it on the page, keep it short and sweet and simple. So that's it for checking stocks on uh, Excel. That's a great thing about Excel because nowadays Excel is online. And because Excel, even my Excel on my computer is online. And so since it's online, uh, you can check your stocks that way. And a lot of people want to do that. I get lots of views any time I make a product or a blog post or anything like that that deals with making money well people are interested that's what people want to do is they want to make money um so that's just something to keep in mind if you're interested in stocks and you want to keep an eye on your stocks then this is how you can do it with excel so I'm going to go ahead and close this video because I've covered the main topics of checking stocks in Excel. And um, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. I look forward to making more videos for you regarding Excel.